Hey there, welcome back. And today, I'm going to show you how to use the Google Bard AI tool. So, for those who are unaware, Google Bard AI can explain your line of code to you line by line, telling you how it works and how it is incorporating to the rest of the code. The age of AI chat tools are really upon us, and Google is definitely not one to jump on the bandwagon as well with its own Google Bard AI. So, of course, to start things off, you want to make sure you have a Google account and go to the bard.google.com website and sign in. Here, you can see that Bard is an experiment and that this is just a simple disclaimer telling you that it's not in its final form just yet. So, once you've signed in and gone through the entire process, you can see that yet again, just like any other AI chat tool, there is a list where you can put in any prompt. And for now, let's try putting in and asking it, what's the difference between you and ChatGPT? As you can see, it has given us a response. And in my opinion, it's quite the interesting and very formulative response. Here, it's explaining that both ChatGPT and Google Bard are both AI large language models. One of the key differences is that ChatGPT is based on a repository of datasets, which was finished a few years ago, while Google Bard AI uses real-time information from Google Search and a dataset which is updated constantly. Basically, the data that you're going to be receiving from Google Bard AI is much more recent and much more up-to-date. If we explore the prompt further, as you can see, Google Bard also gives us other drafts for its responses to our prompts. After checking out all these other drafts and seeing what it has told us, let's try asking it another prompt. This time, let's ask it to compare itself to other language models. I have to say, Google Bard AI is really good at creating these bars and tables to showing us exactly what it is we're asking for, which is a direct comparison between it and other very famous language models. Now, as you can see, Bard AI also gives us links that we can follow to a Google search if we want to do more research on the info it has presented to us. A really nice feature that Google Bard AI has is direct integration with the rest of the Google Suite. So for example, we can share this exact response to Google Docs or create a draft in Google Mail. For the purposes of this video, let's see if we can move this AI-generated response to Google Mail. As you can see, in nothing but a click of a button, we've now created an email from the prompt that Google Bart AI has given us. We can also freely share this response in any way we wish. And as you can see, we can even check its Bard activity and even simply change the theme of the Bard AI user interface. As you can see, by going to the AI activity, we can see all the history of all the prompts that we've given it take a view of everything we've actually kind of like learned and gotten from it, and all the different settings available to modify Google Bard AI to our liking. And congratulations, you now know how to use Google Bard AI for your AI generation tools and needs. Thanks so much for watching guys, and if you have any other questions, remember, feel free to leave them down in a comment below and like and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy this content. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.